will not be surprised that he passes test positive in flying colors. <laughs> Indicator number one, does he reject democratic rules of the game? Throughout his career, as far as we can tell, going back to the 1980s, Bolsonaro has praised the military dictatorship and challenged the legitimacy of the post-1985 democracy. In 1993, he declared, I am for dictatorship, called for the closure of Congress, uh, like in Fujimori's Peru the year earlier. More recently, Bolsonaro declared that what happened in 1964 was not a coup. He promised a Chavista-like packing of the Supreme Court, and he questioned the legitimacy of Brazil's electoral system, calling it rigged. He just named as his vice presidential candidate a general who at various points has signaled his openness to a military coup. So not only has Bolsonaro rejected democratic rules of the game, but he's actually done so in a way that is more open and more egregious than Erdogan, than Fujimori, than Chavez, than Orban. None of those guys openly embraced dictatorship. Toleration or encouragement of violence. In 1998, Bolsonaro said the military should have killed 30,000 people, including Fernando Enrique Cardoso. <laughs> he is, he, he's encouraged, encouraged the extrajudicial police killing of, un, of, of suspected criminals. He has embraced death squads in Rio de Janeiro. He's justified the extrajudicial killing of 19 farm workers in Pará in 1996. Uh, indicator number three, denying the legitimacy of one's partisan rivals. Bolsonaro has called President uh, Cardoso a corrupto, who should have been killed during the dictatorship. He calls Lula a criminal, wants to imprison him, uh, and says he, if in government, will treat the MST as terrorists. Indicator number four, a willingness to curtail the civil liberties of opponents. Bolsonaro has repeatedly endorsed the use of torture and extrajudicial killing, including against leftist politicians and activists. So Bolsonaro is a thoroughly authoritarian figure. That distinguishes him, and I think this is very important, that distinguishes him from all of his rivals, all of his major rivals in the 2018 presidential race. It dis 